One of the consequences of introducing inheritance into your projects will be that some objects cannot distinguish between two different subclasses. While this can be good for most output formats such as lists and feeds, once you want to just receive one type or the other, you now have to deal with the problem of type loss. For the occasions when we need to rediscover the distinctive dynamic type of an object, Java provides an instance of operator. This operator tests whether a given object is, directly or indirectly, an instance of a given class. The left operand is always an object reference. The right operand is always the name of a class. For example, this will return true if V1 is of type car and not bicycle. Once you know if your object is an instance of the type you tested, you can cast the object so that it will be accepted in other methods. This does not change the type of the variable. Since we now know what type it is, it just makes it usable for methods that require that type as a parameter. Section 9.10 in the book has an excellent example. There are three key ways to test for equality. The first two are expected, but hash code needs a closer look. When dealing with objects that may have many structures inside of them, hash code allows for all the elements to be evaluated. The hash code method returns an integer value that represents the object. Within the superclass object, a hash code is calculated and each object has a distinct hash code. Objects that are the same will computationally have the same hash code. There are many external resources available in the book if you have specific interest in learning about hash code and its assorted data structures, hash map, and hash set. But for now, we should assume that when we do an equality function on an object, the hash code is used to compare objects in their entirety. Protected access allows access from the class, the package, and subclasses, but not world. This gives more security than public with fewer restrictions than private. Without protected access, inheritance would need superclass items to be less restrictive. In other words, protected access allows subclasses to access their superclass methods without having to open up those methods to public access. This table shows the access to members permitted by each modifier.